Why must I call you? Why can't you make one now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Oh my god, this is worse than the freaking NHS! You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're Remora, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remora, the terrible black Prince of Darkness. So you're Lucifer. Okay then. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dairn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping from off your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. And now the world is shaking. It can't be. Stop it! I didn't do it. I, I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before coming a star. Look at how happy little evil me is. She's like, yay! Stop! Stab him! Stab him more! Yay! So where's Mr. Midnight? Okay, I'm back here. The door is shut. Fran, wakey wakey. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Or maybe you're actually crazy, Fran. That's a possibility. What's this? A tank of water. Good. The camera comes around, I'll know what to do. Or if I'm thirsty. Am I thirsty? I'm not thirsty. So, did I actually do that? All humans have a spine in common. We can always start a conversation like, Hello, we both have a spine. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, but some people are just spineless. Okay. Why does the brain have two sides? I... One controls one set of things, one controls the other. Dr. Darren? Mr. Midnight! Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. <laughs> talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny! It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can... Hey, it's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Ephraim, my darling. Poltrones can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. <coughs> okay, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Darren, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Hello! Are you in trouble? Dr. Darren? You alright? Sir? Sir, wake up, please. Wake up. You alive? Sir? Hmm. What's this? A syringe. Hey, is this the duotine thing? Same colour as my pills. Hmm, I wonder. Can I use it on Mr. Midnight? Do I want to? What's that? X-rays, it's his head! Alright, no craziness. Okay, maybe I should stab him with it! Because that's the same thing to do. Maybe this will wake him up. Okay. Uh, no. I think you're making it worse, Fran. Fran, I, I, I really think you're making it worse. Ah! Damn! What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Darren. It's me, Fran! Well, I can't see very well. Rambo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum? We were at the cemetery, remember? 
What happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Who the hell are these guys? But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. <laughs> I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely you sound, just like your mother when she was young. Creepy! Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. I thought you were dead. Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm, did you know my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time. But why does he hunt me? Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favour. You're suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Kind of, yes, but not in this context. I'm, I'm a better psychologist than you are, and I studied biology, not the brain. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Um, Gracie? Where are you taking my cat? Grace? Go with your Aunt Fran. Isn't that what you want? Dr. Darren, are you alright, sir? What are these buttons? What can I do with these? They don't do anything. Oops! Ouch! I think I'll just leave it there. <laughs> One more time! Hey, it seems to be fine! Zap, zap! One more time! There we go. I'm, I'm satisfied. I zapped him like nine times. Don't you dare fucking drop him! Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know that Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. Um, no. And then everything will be fine? Fran, no, don't fall for it. <laughs> of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! 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 And Grace, you bitch, I'm stabbing you in the face. No! No! Kitty! Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend! You killed my best friend! You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! I hate you! Stop it! Fran! Help! Help! Please, help! Don't get between a girl and her pet, that's all I'm saying. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh. Well, now I'm dead. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane! Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Oh my god! Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? 
She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Darren. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Edward! Save me! Thank you. She murdered Mr. Midnight. Oh, Fran. Everything will be fine. Who, who, who are you? I'm Edward. The one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Well, he clearly is a doctor. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Ectobro, Ectoprote, Paltronus, Monkeist? Ruska, Edward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Mr. Midnight, thank God! Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yeah, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Macaba, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. She is Shrundigger's Fran. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Okay, is that my soul? Pretty sure that's my soul. What happened, Edward? Feltronas? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, you're alive, my kitty! I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Darren, look, this is Edward and Poltronas. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? Um... He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Makaba now. We really must leave now. Come on, Fran. But can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, thank you, Poltronas. Alright, let's go. Oh, no, we're having a hug. Now let's send Dr. Darren home. Marcel Darren, Oknam Vegma, Sonsta, Ikto. That's right, float into the heavens. Goodbye, Dr. Darren. Nice to meet you now, yo. Let's go, no friend. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. To adventure! And insanity! And Ephria! These are all important things to celebrate. Okay, so that's the end of Fran Bull? English proof reading. Okay, well, you guys didn't work well in that, so yeah. Okay, so that was Fran Bow and nothing extra happened in the credits. I was kind of expecting something to. So, um... What's there to say? Uh... Honestly, and people probably might hate me for this, I... The story didn't feel consistent enough and... 
like it felt a little bit all over the place, which I suppose makes sense because Fran is supposed to be insane, but maybe she's not. Maybe she's really imaginative. I I really don't know, and quite frankly, now it's she. But it wasn't. <laughs> See, I really don't want to say this, but I don't think I liked it. At least it was interesting. I, I will give it that, but. I don't know, if somebody asked me to recommend this game, I would really struggle to do so. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really cute in places. It's really, eh, the artwork is gorgeous in some places and also really freaking creepy in others. And that's good as far as I'm concerned, but... I don't know, man. Some... I don't think I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I played it. I'm happy to have backed it to see how it came out, but... I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, and if I am missing something big, you guys can let me know in the comments or something. Say, hey, you missed this really obvious thing that you should have done in chapter whatever. You should have done this, and you would have gotten a different ending. I'm not even sure if there are different endings, honestly, but... Yeah, that's... That's really all there is to it, so... I don't know, if you've liked the series, please let me know by liking or commenting on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more. And I guess this means I can do a new Let's Play on the channel, so I'm gonna go and work on that, I suppose. But until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. I'll see you then. Bye!